This is so good. Mm -mm. This is nice. I just wish there was more. We're doing it again, Explorers. Today, I'm going to see how much food we can get for 10,000 Japanese yen. And this time, we're at Universal Studios Japan. We arrived late. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, and there's no line to get inside. And also, we're here in the middle of April. Middle of April is typically not very busy. First things first, we're going to get a timed entry for Super Nintendo World. Da -da -da -da. Area timed entry, get an e ticket, Super Nintendo World. Goodness. They have some left, that's good. And you don't need one for Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I know people get really confused. I've Honestly, I think I've done this maybe once, and that was like seven years ago. Like, they rarely turn this on. Super Nintendo World, here we go. And make sure you have everyone's tickets scanned. You can do it ahead of time, too, the day before your visit. Okay, so, 1 p.m., 1.30. That's actually pretty good for getting here late. It's also a Tuesday, mid-April. So there you go. Beautiful, 1.30, that's when we're going into Super Nintendo World. The first food item we're gonna do, we're gonna do the Pikachu steamed bun because they still have it. And I have not had that in probably about a year. Let's do it. The food stand for the Pokemon food that they have is right in front of Hollywood Dream the Ride. So they still have the Bulbasaur sipper, which is fantastic. And they have the Squirtle churro and also the Pikachu steamed bun. I have a video that I cover all of this stuff, so you can go and watch that. Once you're done watching this one, okay? For a point of reference, 10,000 Japanese yen is roughly... Oh, this hurts me to say. <laughs> At the current exchange rate, about 65 US dollars. But just keep in mind that, you know, it, it does fluctuate. But I just wanted to give you a point of reference just so, you know, it's, it's easier to understand really quickly. The Pikachu steam bun is so adorable. I've had this before and I highly recommend it. It's just so cute. How can it? <laughs> it's his bum. It's his butt. As a steamed bun. Packaging is fantastic. I feel sorry. Sorry. I don't know how to do this. Sorry, Pikachu. We're going to look inside your butt. <laughs> so inside is pizza. Look at that. There's sausage in there and cheese and sauce. Delicious. Mm, this is so good. I love the sausage in there. I love the cheese and I love all the sauce and the steamed bun. I mean, it's more of a vessel. It's a cute vessel. This is perfection. Also remember with the Pikachu steamed bun, there's two variations. You can see here, this is the boy Pikachu. There's also the girl Pikachu because she has the heart shaped tail. So they give it to you randomly. Five out of five, easily. So the Pikachu butt cost us 700 yen. So we have 9,300 yen left. So here's 9,000, and then we have 300 yen. We still have a lot of food to eat. <laughs> Before we continue eating, uh, there's a new Kudomi show that I wanna see called Kudomi Live. Haven't seen it yet, so we're gonna watch that while I digest uh, Pikachu's butt. <laughs>
show you my love and passion. Adorable. That's all I can say is adorable. Kudomi, my melody, that show, unhinged. We love an unhinged show. And back there, you probably heard it turn off. It's on like a lawnmower. They're sucking up all the confetti that went everywhere. It's called the Billy Goat. That's what the machine is called. And I love that. That is like the perfect name for it. <laughs> Yeah, this show is new and definitely worth watching. Check the app for the times and everything. Okay, we're gonna go and get more food. You know what? I've never actually had Costa coffee from here before, so you know what? We're gonna we're gonna change that. They have a wide variety. I'll be honest, I didn't know that they had so much coffee. Okay, I'm gonna get one. Yeah. I ended up getting a iced flat white just because it is a little warm today. I didn't really want a hot coffee. No, thank you. I'm already, I'm actually kind of sweating. Flat whites, they're starting to become a little more common in Japan. You can't get it at places like Starbucks, to my knowledge, but there's a lot of places that are starting to carry flat whites because before you could not find one to save your life. And with this, I got a gum syrup, which is just liquid sugar. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm doing this all 100. Oh no. Can I do it? Aha! Oh, I did not. Now that is talent. I'm really scared I'm gonna drop this. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, maybe I shouldn't put the whole thing in there. That's very sweet. That's not a bad flat white. I'm not a connoisseur of flat white, so I don't know what constitutes as an excellent flat white, but for a theme park flat white, it's actually pretty good. I would have put half the syrup though. I think that's too much for the size anyway. I'm gonna give this a three and a half. So this costs 600 yen, which means we have 8,700 left. We've got a ways to go. And it's quarter after 11. We're gonna have one of my favorite meals in the park here at the Dragon Pearl. Universal Studios Japan has been introducing more mobile ordering. First it was Nell's Diner, now it looks like they've expanded it to the Dragon Pearl, so we're gonna do that. You scan the QR code in the restaurant and then it'll bring up this page for you. So, I'm gonna do my favorite meal, the Dragon Pearl combo with fried rice. And you can add different things to it. I'm not going to do that. Add some cards. And then you actually pay in the store. There we go. Done. Now I just wait. I don't get to eat here often because they close early. They open at, I believe it's at 10, and then they close at 3. That's early. I think the timing's changed, but it's never open late, so I never remember to come and get one of my favorite meals. I love this meal so much. If you watched my video on the best things to eat at Universal Studios Japan, this is in it. 
So you, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you do once you're done watching all this. So we have sweet and sour chicken and mabu tofu, which is spicy tofu essentially, and fried rice. And then we also have some corn soup. So good, delicious. The fried chicken is where it's at. It's nice and juicy and the sweet and sour sauce on it isn't overly sweet, which is really nice. Because you know, sometimes sweet and sour sauce can be overtly sweet and I don't care for that. This is nice and balanced. And the mabo tofu, I mean, this isn't anything special. It's just spicy tofu with minced, I believe it's pork. If I was to rate it in terms of spiciness level, this is maybe just under a jalapeno in terms of spice level. Kind of get your head around the spice. What I like about the fried rice is they put edamame in here, not peas. I don't like peas and stuff, but I like edamame. It's more of a texture thing. Mushy peas, not my thing. Mm -mm. My mother watching this knows how much I disliked peas, especially when we were at grandma's. No, thank you. I wish I grew up eating edamame. It wasn't really common in the middle of Canada, in the frozen tundra. <laughs> there's the corn soup. You can tell there's egg in there too. Oh, she's hot. And there's some sort of seasoning in here. I'm not too sure what it is, but it gives it a nice seasoned flavor. It's not just water with corn and egg. Overall, this meal, I'm not gonna give it a five. I don't think it's quite up there. I'm gonna give it a four. I think probably what would put it over to a five if there was maybe some sort of other seasoning with the sweet and sour sauce on the chicken, I think. Maybe give it a little bit of spice. That would have been nice. The meal was 1,600 yen. So that puts us at 7,100 yen left out of the 10,000. We're doing pretty good and I'm pretty full. We still got a long ways to go. As you saw, we did the mobile ordering with this, right? And to do mobile ordering, you're gonna need data on your phone. Wi-Fi in Japan is tough to find. It's oddly enough, not very common in a lot of places. Even here at Universal Studios Japan, the Wi-Fi is only at the front of the park. So data is essential for your trip just to make things easier. Otherwise, it, it's gonna be really tough. And I have a solution for you with today's sponsor, Kluke. Kluke has been my go-to platform for booking incredible travel experiences since 2016. Kluke is easy to use and with its app and website, you'll be able to find everything you need from theme parks to Wi-Fi and even hotels. Everything is available in your own currency and language. They also offer a variety of discounts to help your money go even further. As I mentioned, having access to the internet while traveling in Japan is pretty important. From making bookings for your favorite experiences, visiting various theme parks, or just staying in contact with family and friends back home, you'll need a reliable internet connection on your mobile device. With eSIMs from Klug, you're able to easily purchase them through their app and website, install it on your phone, and be up and running with internet access when you arrive in Japan. Also, the great thing with eSIMs, you don't have to worry about renting or returning any physical cards or have to swap anything out. It's all done securely in the settings of your phone. I rely quite heavily on eSIMs when I travel myself. It's just so convenient. I don't think I could go back to physical cards. Give eSIMs from Kluka tried today by following the link in the description down below or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. It'll give you that peace of mind just to get everything done in one place. And thank you so much to Kluke for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to eating. We're going to take a break from eating and check out the new Conan 4D live show, which replaced Terminator. I haven't seen this yet. It's new. It just started. So we're going to check it out. This looks so weird though, seeing this sign. All right, let's head inside. Sumano, 
すでにお聞きお呼びの方もいらっしゃるでしょうなではご覧いただきましょう我が数字財閥が独自に開発特許を取得した新技術エレベタワーをそうこの建物の地下機械室に配備された最新機器の操作によって皆さんはシアターごと居ながらにして屋上へと移動できるんじゃちなみにプラットフォームはわしが左手につけているこのバングルで操作を行う我ながら大したシステムやあの回答キットもこのシステムにはかなうまい<笑>皆さんの目を痛めては大変じゃシアターに着席したら事前に配布したプリズムグラスをおかけくだされわかりましたな<笑>それでは皆様まもなくお披露目会が始まりますのでスタッフに従いメインシアターへとお進みください中でお会いしましょう本日お越しの全ての皆様ご来場ありがとうございますあなたが好きなデテクティブ・コーナン、絶対に見てほしいです。これは大変楽しみです。もし、あなたが好きなデテクティブ・コーナン、デテクティブ・コーナン、これは大変ダイアログ・ヘビーです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。これは大変楽しみです。I enjoyed the show. I just thought it was very dialogue heavy. I wish there was more performers in the show. At one time, there w a s three performers on the stage, if I remember correctly. I love the part when Kaito Kid comes down from the ceiling. I thought that was really fun. And yeah, the whole story with the, the jewel getting stolen and all that stuff. Yeah, it's good fun. And then, of course, when you come out, you go into the gift shop, and there's tons and tons of. Detective Conan merchandise. <laughs> There's always room for ice cream, and we're gonna get some here at Amity Ice Cream. It's Baskin Robbins. Here's all the different flavors. Popping shower is always a classic. I think I'm gonna get Rocky Road and cookies and cream. I always get a cup, so I'm gonna get a double cup. $5.50. This is cute, but I don't really need that. But if you want that, this is how much it is here. Delicious cookies and cream and Rocky Road. Usually I don't care for, you know, just straight up chocolate, but Rocky Road, I don't know. There's something about Rocky Road that I just adore. I think it must be a thing when I was a child. I did eat it a lot, so I think it's very sentimental to me. It's Baskin Robbins ice cream. Doesn't throw any punches, it's familiar, it's delicious. Four out of five. Easy enough. Funny thing about Baskin Robbins so, if you say to someone in Japan, you want Baskin Robbins, nine times out of ten, they're probably not going to know what you're talking about. In Japanese, it's called 31 because there's 31 flavors. So, everyone in Japan calls it 31. Sati one. Just a fun little piece of、uh, Japanese language there for you. This was $5.50, so we have $65.50 left. $6,550 yen left. So we're gonna finish this up and we're gonna head over to Super Nintendo World. Heading into Super Nintendo World, our time entry is up, so we're gonna head inside. 
to pull up your timed entry ticket, go to timed entry e-tickets, and then at the bottom, it says acquire timed entry ticket, standby entrance ticket list. And there it is. And you just scan the QR code. Boom. I never grow tired of this entrance. It just makes me so incredibly happy. <laughs> I remember the first time walking through this back in 2020. <laughs> I'll never forget that feeling. Makes me feel like a kid again. We're gonna check out the situation with Canopio's Cafe. I'm not sure if we need a time entry ticket or not, so we will find out. We just asked and they said we don't need a time entry ticket, you just line up. It's about a 60 minute wait, so that's good enough for me because I still need to digest. <laughs> I love this restaurant so much. The inside is always just so welcoming and I love Toad. Toad is my favorite. He is my go-to in everything. If I'm playing Mario Kart against you, you betcha I am picking Toad. Him and that annoying voice. <laughs> so we waited just under an hour, I think. Roughly 45, 50 minutes, so not terrible. But I love that we did not need a return time to come back. So now I'm gonna talk about this Coke Zero for the next 25 minutes and my cameraman is shaking his head no. Okay, fine, I'll keep it to 30 seconds. I got a Coke Zero because I am thirsty. That's it. And this is the large size, the large size Coke Zero. I don't know why I'm doing this. I've never had this before. This is the Yoshi fruit and vegetable salad and this is actually considered plant-based. So when this first came out, it wasn't plant-based because I remember asking them, because I thought to myself, oh, maybe it is. But actually it wasn't at the time. I, I think it was the dressing that wasn't plant-based. But now this is fully plant-based. Even says right on the menu, plant-based. So we have, we have melon, we have pineapple, strawberry, and kiwi, peas, and some mushroom. And dressing, I'm not sure what the dressing is, but we'll find out. Our server told us when he came to the table, this is Yoshi's favorite fruits and vegetables. So you might want to eat it quick because if Yoshi comes by, he's gonna own all of it. I don't see him anywhere. There's also cucumber on this too. We asked what the dressing was because I couldn't quite tell. And they said it's a yogurt dressing. So it would be a plant-based yogurt dressing. Now that they tell me I can kind of taste it, it's a little tangy. This is nice. I just wish there was more for the price that you pay for this. It, it doesn't feel like a lot. This should be almost double, I feel. But I do enjoy this salad. It's nice and fresh. Nice change from, you know, burgers, fries, steamed buns, churros, french fries, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna give this a three out of five. I just wish there was more. I think if there was more, it would have been nice. And maybe something else, like the yogurt dressing is nice. I just feel like it's missing something to, you know, give it a four or five. But I do like the, all the different fruits on here. I haven't had the pizza bowl in a very long time, I think. Not since 2020 when I first came here. I think that's the only time I ever had it. So there's pizza in the middle here and you just kind of have to, I guess, just Stick the fork in and open it. There you go. Sorry, I'm so sorry. And you can see the pizza inside here. Look at that. Oh. Yum. Cheese, tomatoes, and that looks like bacon. I mean, it doesn't look overly appetizing, but 
it's good, if I remember. It's quite nice. There's also mushrooms in this, too. It's definitely as good as I remember. Delicious. It's as good as I remember. I'm going to give this a four. Four out of five. I think what would made it a five would have been more. Again, for the price, I think a little bit more would have been nice. And maybe a little hint of spice. I think I would have really enjoyed that. The ingredients in there are perfect, I think. The bacon in there and the tomatoes and the mushrooms, I think are perfect. The presentation is fantastic, except for right now. I kind of destroyed it. Definitely get this. This is good. I really like this. <laughs> All together, the three items came to 3,500 yen. And we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 50 left. Oh, that was the most expensive part of the day so far. We still got... 3,050 yen to spend, so let's go. Well, I found out where all the crowds are. They're here at Super Nintendo World. So it's not as bad as I've seen it. Everyone wants to come inside Super Nintendo World, so it makes sense that, you know, there's people here that are always just very busy. I always recommend, though, do it first thing in the morning. All right, we're gonna head out here and uh, get some more food, because that's what we're here for. There's a snack that I want to get here at Amity Landing restaurant and is it the shark nuggets or is the roll cake hmm did you really think i was gonna get the shark nuggets absolutely not i learned my lesson from my best and worst food at usj video let's try out the jaws nuggets Mm -mm. No, we are never doing those again. And I'm sorry, neither should you. <laughs> I, don't th I don't think they're good at all. Absolutely not. But this Swiss roll cake, that's soda flavored, perfection. This has been here since, I'm gonna say the dawn of time. It has been here ever since I've been coming to Universal and I hope they never get rid of it. It is such a classic, so I had to get it again today. It looks like Jaws. It's the Jaws motif. It is such a perfect snack. Oh, look on the inside there. It's got some chocolate and some cream, and we got the blue soda, cake, and then we also have the blue fin. I'm, I'm going to call it a jube jube. It's like a jube jube. Or like a gummy, uh, I guess the blue fins, right? Because did, did we get those as children? There was like a barrel of blue fin candies. I think so, right? I think I'm remembering correctly. It is moist. It is delicious. Not overly sweet, which I know I say a lot, but is the truth. And the blue, like the soda, is very subtle. It doesn't punch you in the face, which I prefer. I don't want to be punched in the face with this. <laughs> and the chocolate complements it very well. This dessert is perfectly balanced in every way imaginable. Theming-wise, taste-wise, presentation, all of that is perfect, and I'm struggling to get this off. Five out of five, no notes. It is perfection. I just noticed in the light, the cream, I thought it was white. No, it's actually like a really light blue color. That is some detailing. So this costs 600 yen. We have 2,450 yen left. <laughs> Still got more to eat. Popped into the Wizarding World. I wanted to see if there's something I wanted to eat, but eh, not really. But I have to say, crowd-wise, it is not packed in here at all, which is lovely, because usually it's quite busy here in the Wizarding World. They still have Easter decorations up, and it is so adorable. Look at Snoopy. 
and Woodstock. <laughs> Look at these Woodstock eggs. Mmm, uh, that is so cute. I, I, I can't. Look at it. Mm. So good. Oh, I love the outfits. Adorable. Having another item that I've never had before. This is the Hello Kitty strawberry smoothie, and it looks cute. And it's incredibly potent. And I love the little Hello Kitty ribbon jujube -jub on the top. It is so adorable. And when you order this, when they tell you the price, they say, this was 700 yen. They'll say, oh, it's 700 apples. Come on, how could you not love that? Look, look at that. You can see the strawberry seeds in there. If I could tell you how strong the smell is, it is incredibly strong. That is tart. That is tart, my friend. It is quite sweet, too. Oh, I love this. Mmm. It's just strawberry, and I love that. It's kind of one note, but I'm not mad at it. This is really good. I was worried it was gonna be bland. Far from it. Tart and sweet. Perfectly blended. Oh, I just noticed, you can see her face. Let me smush that up again so you can see her face. This is a great snack. Four and a half out of five. So, money-wise, we have 1750 left, so 1,000 yen, 500 yen. So this is the new 500 yen coin, actually. Came out a few years ago. It kind of looks like a toonie from Canada. All you Canadians out there watching, my fellow Canadians, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Our $2 coin back home in Canada. Then we have the 100 yen coin. So we're at two of those, and we still got this 50 yen coin with the hole in the middle that we're still trying to get rid of. So we have 17.50. Let's go and spend the rest of it. We're gonna get a meat pie. That's what we're gonna do. Uh-huh. I decided I wanted something savory, and this is another item that I've never actually tried before. This is a meat pie. Doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing as the, everything else that we've had today, but it smells really good. It's an Angus beef meat pie, and my Australian watchers, I know how much we love our meat pies down in Australia. When I was down there, I ate them every other day, because they're delicious. I wish I had some ketchup with this. Let's look on the inside here. Oh, that is very juicy. Oh, you can really smell the Angus beef. I guess it's stew, like a beef stew. That is surprisingly delicious. It doesn't look like much. It's pretty plain Jane, if you will. <laughs> it's just beef stew with Angus beef inside. It's very tangy and the Angus beef, I was worried it was gonna be really dry. It's not, it is quite moist and it's really good. I didn't think it was gonna be this good, honestly. I had very low expectations when I came to have this. I wish I had some kind of sauce with it maybe, like to put on top, like maybe some ketchup or something like that. But overall, I'm very surprised with this. And it's very hearty, very filling. And it's nice and warm too, which is really lovely. We actually had to come back because they sold out before and they needed to make more. So I got these nice and fresh. The pastry is whatever, it's a vessel for everything else inside. I'm gonna give this a solid three and a half. Just needs ketchup, I think. <laughs> that was 800 yen for that. So all we have is change left. So we have, let's count with me here, everyone back home. What is this one? That's right, 500 yen. What am I, Dora the Explorer? <laughs> And then we got the 100 yen coins here and then the lonely 
50 yen coin that I've been holding on to all day. So we have 950 yen left. Let's go spend it. Really quickly about the mobile ordering. So as you saw, it works a little bit differently and they're just rolling it out, it looks like, to other restaurants. So when we ordered at Jaws and also at the Dragon Pearl, we scanned the QR code and then we ordered, but we still stood in line and then they scanned the QR code and then we paid at the register. So it's not like, you know, at the other Universal Parks, especially in the US, where you order and then you go and pick it up and you pay through the app and everything. That's not how it works here. You still pay in person and it looks like there's no separate line per se. Maybe that'll change in the future because this is relatively new. So I'm guessing they're maybe slowly rolling things out. I'm not sure. But for Mel's Diner, Mel's Dine-In, they have the mobile ordering, scan the QR code, but there's a separate line for you if you did the mobile order as opposed to just ordering at the register. Whereas the other restaurants, you were all in the same line. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like some pancakes. Why don't we get some Mario pancakes? That's a good idea. It's always a good idea. I remember when this opened in 2020. I think it was October, September 2020. I was here when it first opened and I tried everything. Here we are. What am I going to get? Ended up getting the Luigi No Bake Cheesecake and there's candied grapes on the top there that you can see. You got whipped cream and I know the cheesecake is in the middle. We'll get there in a second. I got a little chocolate. It says, whose cap? Well, it's Luigi's cap. The grapes are really nice. I think they're candied. There's sugar on, on the top. Or not on the top, like they're coated in sugar. I love grapes. I'm trying to get to the cheesecake. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. I am a cheesecake fiend, so this is right up my alley. I think the last time I did this, when we did the best and worst food at USJ, I did the Mario one. The Mario one's good. This one is also excellent. You can't go wrong. If you like strawberries, get the Mario one, because it's excellent. If you like cheesecake, like myself, and the grapes, this one is delicious. The bun, or the pancake itself, is pretty... It's just a vessel for all the rest of this deliciousness here. It is really nice. Not overly sweet, which is kind of the trend, it seems, with a lot of these pastries. And the no-bake cheesecake, perfectly creamy, and it is cheesecake. This is easily four and a half for this. I wish the pancake was maybe flavored, like maybe this was grape flavored or something. I don't know, something other than just being a cute vessel. Still, this is delicious. Mm. That cost 900 yen, so we got pretty close to spending all our money today. We have 50 yen left. He lasted throughout the day. <laughs> we got this near the beginning of the day and uh, we kept going. Overall, that was a lot of food uh, uh, for one person. You could probably do this with two people. I kind of did do it with two people. I didn't eat everything myself. My cameraman also helped eating with everything. Helped ate everything. I cannot even speak anymore. I am so full of food at the moment. By the way, if you're planning a trip to Universal Studio Japan, which if you're watching this video, you probably are, I want to remind you about our wonderful digital guidebooks on Universal Studio Japan and also Tokyo Disney Resort. It has everything you need to know to plan your perfect trip to Universal Studios Japan. Deciding when to visit. Also, all the hotels. There's hotels all around us. All those different things. And also food. <laughs> Talk about food. A lot. On what to do. How to buy your tickets. How to buy your express passes. How to utilize everything. How to plan your day. So make sure you go and check it out. You do not want to visit Universal Studios Japan without our guidebook. Trust me. It helps, it really does, and it is the best resource out there. It's on our website, tdxport.com slash books. I have a link in the description as well. Are there any other places you would like to see how far 10,000 yen can go? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, the park is closing in half an hour. It closes at seven, closes a little bit early um, this week. So I'm gonna walk around and uh, work off all these 
Kylo Reese. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. But don't go anywhere. I'll put another video up there for, so you can watch, okay? Bye.